meat for repentance. Bring forth therefore fruits suitable for repentance. If you have repented, show me some signs. Show me some humility. You can't just come and not tell me nothing. Tell me something. Those have, that have stood with you, tell us something. Tell your church something. And we all make mistakes, come short of the glory of God. But if I mess up, i got to tell you something. So, so that's what the Bible says. And just one more passage of Scripture. I'm not doing a sermon on this, but I want you to know, because Paul said, I would not have you ignorant. I, I, there's some ignorant folk out there, but I don't want you to be ignorant. As it relates to what God's word says, look at Luke 17, verses 3 and 4. And I'll be finished in this area. And all we will do is pray that he will hear God's voice in this season. Because let me tell you, no matter what you have done, you have to trust God. You have to trust God with the consequences. Now, if the settlement has already been made, they can't sue you again. You can apologize. I know there may be a gag order. But you can still, the consequences, you've got to face it. Some people will stay with you. Some people are going to leave you. But you've got to leave that up to God. Those are the consequences for the sins that we do. And so just look for a moment at Luke 17, verses 3 and 4. And the Bible says, take heed to yourselves. Look at somebody tell them, you, you, you. If your brother trespass against you, rebuke him. I'm rebuking him today. Amen. You don't answer my calls no more. I'm rebuking you today. That's what the Bible told me to do. Amen. You was call, talking to me for a while. So I got the power to do that. And here's what the Bible says. And if he repent. And if he repent. Forgive him. I can't forgive somebody that does not repent. That's why I love you, my brother, like uh, you know I love you. Repent. Don't, don't worry about folk now. God can turn your situation around and give you a second chance. Just repent. It is very, very important that we understand this, people of God, because... We don't, we don't want to do that. And I know somebody said, well, if he repents to God, that's enough. No, the Bible says if you do it before all, rebuke him before all. You got to repent. And I mean, there's too many ways. You can do it online, whatever. I mean, just let the body of Christ know. Don't just ignore the situation. And one more verse here. Now, this is, this is for somebody. And if he trespass again seven times in a day. And seven times in a day, turn again to thee saying, I repent. You still got to forgive him. So he, even if he does it again, you still got to, oh, no, I ain't forgiving him no more. I'll forgive him this time. I ain't forgiving him no No. The Bible says you've got to do that. So all I'm waiting for, Bishop, and we are not fighting in the body of Christ. All I'm waiting for is for you to repent. I'll talk to people on your behalf to say this man has repented. We got to forgive him of his sin and let the church roll on. I just need somebody to wave at him. Say, we love you, Bishop Long. We love you. That's what the body of Christ has to do. And the Bible lets us know now, and don't you get around some spiritual people that, that will mess you up. The Bible says, confess your sins one to another. You got to know what that says. Confess your sins one to another. Because when you go to confess your sin to somebody, there's some deep, well, come on now, tell me what you did. Tell me what you did. Come on, I want every detail. No, you just being nosy. When the Bible says, confess your sins one to another, it simply means you go to a brother or sister in Christ and say, look, I got a weakness. I can't talk about it now, but I just need you to touch and agree with me that I take authority over this weakness 
That was my first message for this morning. I hope you have been blessed. But I'm a father. I know I'm the new kid on the block in this city, but I am not a new kid in holiness. I'm not a new kid in understanding what God says, and we have to follow God's word.